Hello everyone, welcome back. Got another interesting video for you guys and I think you'll like it. All right, we're gonna start off as a gentleman named Ivan Palufo. He said, uh, hi Chris, this is Ivan. I have another finding that is very unusual. It's like a picture or a post I found about some kind of green figure with a weird hat which is laying on some rocks. And then it says the link to my find is here in the snapshot, which is a basically a pan. And he put on a painting or sculpture of Harlequin. I said, thank you, Ivan. I will have a look. Now, I don't know if you guys can see this. This goes to show you how far behind on some of these things I am. April 12th. We're going back over like a month, month and a half, right? So in addition to doing my own find, I'm still, uh, you know, doing others as well. All right. So if I don't know if you guys remember Ivan, but he's the one that brought the clock-like anomaly found on Mars. So he's got a keen eye. So, uh, you know, so that's awesome that he found this. Now, this other one is a lot smaller anomaly, and we're going to have a look at that now. And this thing is pretty wild because I was just like, what is that? Here is the, uh, the Gigapan in question, and it's uh, from MSL 1272. We're going to go ahead and refresh the page, and it's going to come out, and it's going to zoom back into this. Watch what this thing does. Now, this thing is small, but when you see it, you just go, what is that? Guys, what the hell is that? If you tilt your head to the right, it almost looks like it has two eyes, a nose, and it looks like it's, it has some kind of weird hat or something sticking out of its head. I can't be sure. I'm not sure what that is. I'm going to go ahead and just enlarge this or make it full screen, I should say. Um, and just back out just a little bit. And like I said, I'm tilting my head to the right, and I'm just going, what is that? I mean, what? It looks like some kind of little weird humanoid thing or whatever. Now, this may be kind of a pareidolia. It may not. To me, I'm going, well, it almost looks like something. There was a ripped piece of paper or some kind of stone with this painting or something, and it just happened to be in this rubble, right? Now, if you back up, it's not really rubble per se. Of course, I don't buy this whole thing that these are just rocks, uh, although they look that way, and that's the whole idea is to look that way. Now, let me show you guys where this thing is in the pan, and then I want to show you some pretty cool things that I don't know if you're going to say that these are rocks because they... They look much more than rocks, okay? So let's slowly zoom out. First thing I want to show you, I don't even know what the heck that was, but see, it looks. this looks like kind of like kind of rounded right here or half round or almost like an oval. And it has whatever this thing is. Look at this. It's got straight pots in it. See it? Whatever that is. A lot of these things, guys, I'm going to tell you right now, they're not rocks. Now, I'm not saying there's no rocks in this photo. Clearly there are, right? But let's just go over here real quick. Look at this. Look at the water coming down. The I know a lot of you guys watched this uh, a while back. I'm trying to remember if this was like a year or two ago. Uh, that me and uh, a lot of the UFA team actually attacked this particular Gigapan and found amazing things in this. Um, now, this is pretty bizarre because you see this water coming down. And there's also a little bit up here. You can see it right here. Okay. And I believe there's some over here too. Yeah, there's some other streaks coming down right here. I'm almost positive I did a video on this particular thing at one time, but we were pulling this thing apart. Now, my question is, how much water has to come down this hillside um, before it like, reaches this far? Now, it's got to be from under these rocks, and it comes down, right? It's like being on the beach, and you make your own little hill in the sand, right? And you just take a little bit of water, pour it down. What happens? The first thing that happens to, to the water is it gets soaked into the sand, right? So... How much do you have to pour? How much is really coming out of this ground? It's quite a bit. And why is it that we always see these particular, uh, you know, water coming down into the sand? We never see the other side of it. They always say, oh, it's coming out of the ground. Well, if then that's true, then you know there's puddles, probably lakes, and everything else over here in Gale, Gale Crater. And I think you guys would agree with that. Check this out. It almost looks like a blown apart structure right here. It looks like a compartment, another compartment. And another one looks like it has some kind of weird thing sticking out of it, like almost like a square piece. That doesn't look like something you'd see in nature. This, These uh, layered rock, yeah, but I'm not buying the layered rock because the reason why I'm not is because when you see things like this, you just kind of like, oh, does, does that really happen in nature where you almost see a wall and, and there's like three different areas? I'm not so sure about that. Okay, now let me jump to the other side real quick because we have even more water right here. Again, how much water has to keep coming down here? It's gonna, as it's coming down, it's gonna get soaked into the sand, soaked into the sand, soaked into the sand, until it finally reaches all the way down here, and you can see a lot of it coming down. How much water is really coming out of this ground? All right, let me show you something I think you'll find pretty interesting. If you haven't seen the one we had done a while back, 
Now, there's several things on here. This one here caught my eye, and right off the bat, this is some kind of structure. Um, this is just bizarre. It looks like it actually caved in right here. Like, this part here was actually sticking out over to here. And then, of course, it had, like, this weird arch-type thing. Now, this might have been straight at one time and just stuck straight out. And I'm going to tell you in a minute why, because I'm going to bring you to Photoshop. I'm going to show you why I believe this is more than just a rock. And some will agree, some won't. That's fine, too. Check this out. It has, like, this rectangular box right there. And it looks like this has been, like, falling away. See, like, this side has fallen, a, fallen away from the side of this object, whatever this anomaly is. It looks like this was... This is actually hollow inside. You can see that right here. Like, the bottom's falling out of this thing. And it was some kind of either shelter or something along that. Check this out. What is all of this just underneath this rock where it has almost like perfect spaces underneath it? See it? All under here? Yeah, come on, man. Um, and like I said, you've got these two other white things standing up right here. I don't know if you guys can see that right there. One, two. Has this box. And like I said, it looks like it's just this piece here has fallen away from the end of that. To the right of this... What is it with these wavy, two of these things that are wavy? See the straight pieces right here? There's, look at the way this curves. It goes around in a curve. It has like this wavy kind of feature to it, like the outline or the edge to it right here. And the bottom does the same exact thing. Where do you find that nature that's perfectly like rounded on the corner, goes up like this, and the second part of below it just forms the same way? Straight rocks I get, layered rock I get, but man, that's that's pretty good nature, boy. I'll tell you that. Now, let me show you this in Photoshop, because I think you guys will like this. And I'll show you why I believe this is something more than this. What I did was took away some of the color, enhanced it, and brightened it up here in the middle. Now, you can see where I try to make this a little bit jopper, but let's jump into this. I'm saying, okay, just by going over this, look how it turned more blue. Like, this is not just a normal photo. This has been manipulated. It's been obfuscated. So they've been coloring over this. And you can see, like, even right here, it's got, like, these um, blotted areas, right? Okay. Check this out. I'm just going to go right to the max on this thing. Check this out. It's hollow inside, but you can see lines. There's another one here. I'm kind of doing that sloppily. And one right here, which tells me that when I brighten this up, we're seeing the inside of it. See this right here? It's dark inside. And you can see the bottom has fallen out of this, and which is probably this mess here. What it looks like is this is completely hollow, but it has the same lines as this does on this side. And you can see where they try to take it out. I don't know. I just noticed this myself. So to be honest with you guys, check this out. Right here. It looks like it stops here, which is smoother. But check this out. Nice straight line. Nice straight line. But it seems like the other side of this structure is also that way. Like you're looking in the other side of this, looking through onto the other side of it and you can see on that wall it's also got straight lines which tells me it's kind of symmetrical it has let's say let's say you were in a vehicle of some sort and you had like obviously you got doors on one side doors on the other so in other words you get the same features on both sides of it now i'm not saying that's what this is i'm just saying it just it's just a little bizarre how it happens to have the same features on the other side wall of the said object as it does on this side what do you guys think man does that look like it's natural to you to me it doesn't Here's another object I think you guys will like. I can go ahead and use the pan for this. Um, how about this so-called rock right here, which is, is like symmetrical with these slotted areas right here. See, there's one. Go ahead and make that full screen for you. You've got one slotted area just below it, another slotted area. And what looks like some kind of rectangular block, but you can see it's all been either busted apart or something. What does that in nature to make it perfect like that you can see that they're the same length. See that? Both of them are the same length, completely slotted. Is that done by nature? I don't believe it is. There's so many things, guys. I'm going to just let you guys, of course, you guys will get the, all the links to this. That's how we roll in this channel. You'll get all of those. Now, we talked about layered rock. Now, layered rock usually is, you know, it'll go a good distance. I mean, it could be a short section or a long section. But then all of a sudden, you get this weird, funky object that's, look at this. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it looks like it, almost like one half of an I-beam. In other words, you see this coming down like this going down here, goes in, goes straight down, and then it has another a piece sticking out, kind of like the top does. See that? It goes down like this, goes around, whatever that is, and check this out. What the hell? Suddenly this is this weird other rock just in with all the layered. This is no rock, guys. Check this out.
something straight, perfectly straight here, and then it's completely eradicated, like this thing's been decimated. Whatever this thing is, they're making it look like it's rock. Check this out. Out of nowhere, you can see what looks like a completely perfect arch. See it? Right there inside this wannabe ground. It almost looks like an archway, right? There's so much in these photos. Oh, my God. Check this out. Kind of goes up and around like this, goes in. And like I said, goes up, goes like this, goes back around and then down. Really? What shapes something like that? Flat rocks, smooth rocks. I get it from water. Uh, you get uh, uh, wind erosion. You get all that. I get all that. I mean, you know, that's that's nothing. That's nothing. This is a secret. Look at this thing. Look at this opening. Kind of like does this. Drops down. Goes like this here. Comes back up. Almost to the other side almost does the same. Look at that. It's actually got a separate, uh, like a something in the middle to separate the two of them. The reason why it may not be identical is, you know, to each other is maybe it's been mangled uh, from explosion or for whatever happened to this planet. Some people say they're just simply rocks. You know, I feel bad for people like that because, you know what, they're not taking the time to investigate the su stuff themselves, and that's the problem. The automatic, oh, it's rocks. That's fine. If you want to you wanna go through this with uh, blinders on, stop watching these videos then. Look at this piece sticking straight out. Now, I'm not saying this couldn't be some flat piece of rock, which reminds me, let's go over here. This other piece reminds me of some sort of um, steel plate that's been eroded. It should be right here. Look at this thing. It almost looks like a flat piece of iron that's been eroded over a course of years. Now, some people say, well, I mean, that thing shouldn't even be there if this is thousands of years ago. Well, it depends because the, supposedly the atmosphere is thinner, right? But this to me looks like some flat piece of iron. Check this out. What does this? Almost looks like a chimney to a house. See that? Now, again, we pull this whole pan apart. And I think I've even done this uh, uh, before, but I never did see that little, little thing that looks like some kind of little face, though, right? But anybody who's new to the channel hasn't seen this yet, check this out. You can see this jagged, and there's another side to it, almost like a chimney to a house. Okay? Look at this. Almost like it looks like right here. It looks like a corner. So it looks like this is a wall. That's a wall. And look at the way this goes across. Perfect 90-degree angle. These are structures, guys. That's as far as I'm concerned. Look at this. Like another wall right here. Right there going up. Oh, across, rather. Completely come down. And it looks like it's been a jagged wall, like some kind of, like it was a wall to something, and it got smashed to pieces. What could possibly do that? Uh, here's another thing. Something arched right here. You can see it right here, and it's got, it literally goes across, but you, they got a bunch of this manipulation on it. But look at this. Boom. has an arch. Going like this here. And the inside almost does the same. Not quite as pronounced, of course, but you can see that. And you can see where they, it's pretty clean right here, but then the rest of this is just like manipulation. See, this has got, oh, I just noticed this. I never even seen this before. It looks like a completely round circle type thing with a black hole or design in the middle of it. See that? Nice and smooth. Nice and smooth with design. The rest of it is mushed out. Why? Because it's being hidden. Uh, same thing with this thing. It almost looks like it's hollow, whatever this may be underneath and it looks like it has pieces sticking in and out of it look at this perfect like almost like a design intelligently made where it's, it's got this rectangular opening to it don't know not sure is it possible it's just more part of layering i'm i'm going to say no only because it doesn't appear to have other rocks under it i mean meaning layered look at this another oval area type thing and it looks like there's some white objects in it it almost looks like this stuff just busted apart it doesn't look like um, like rocks, just all completely rocks. Look at this. Looks like they totally screwed this up. Something right here, straight, goes across, goes like this. Suddenly all of this blue or whatever it is happens to be right in this object. See it? It's like they went, oops, they went a little too much over with this sky type thing. Um, I believe there's so much more to this, what's going on on Mars. It's crazy. Hey, guys, let me know what you think. Do you think it's just a... Just, it just looks like a face, but maybe it's a pareidolia thing. Do you think it's, uh, do you think it's actually some kind of weird, um, maybe it's a rock of some sort with a painting on it? Is it a, a poster type thing? Is it some kind of like a, a hieroglyph or some kind of weird thing sitting on? And it might be just a piece of stone just laying between them other big rocks and stones, right? But again, you guys get the last word. Let me know what you think. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Always appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next video.